The concept of lost and found edges refers to the practice of using a variety of edges in order to create the illusion of reality in your painting. So if you look at this self-portrait by Van Dyck, we can see in some places how the edges are quite sharp. Along the edge here, it gets a bit softer and then comes up here sharp again and so on. Notice here too how this hand is quite sharp, but then as it goes back into space and disappears behind the shoulder, it gets softer. So we have these edges that are a bit sharp that are more visible, others that are less visible. So generally where there's high contrast, you'll see the edges a little bit more, but even still there is some variety. It's not just all sharp, there is some softness here and there. As we come into a place where there's less contrast, we see something like in the hair here where it's a dark against the dark, the edges get lost. We can't see them as easily. And as we follow the form of the hair around, you can see how there's a variety of edges. Some places they're softer, some places they're sharper, more visible, less visible against a darker background. So that sense of losing these edges to the background or having your figure come out of the darkness as I said, gives a great feeling of realism to your paintings. There is another way to use edges. If you look at someone like Holbein, we can see here he doesn't have really lost and found edges. He has a beautifully designed outline for this figure. So very graphic, very hard edged against this flat colored background. Okay, so just look at how he is designed the intervals here between the high points and low points of both the head, the hat, and the jacket. We can take a look at a modern approach to this in the work of Anagoni, who was also a great admirer of Holbein. So can we see here again the wonderfully designed outline, creating a beautiful shape, all balanced by this beautifully rendered portrait. A look at a contemporary painting using lost and found is by one of Anagoni's students, Michael John Angel, who again, very clearly see has got the lost and found concept. Here the edge very sharp, dark against a lighter background. It's a little lost more here in the beard, very sharp up in here through the head. And then as it goes into dark, it gets totally lost and continues that down through here. So that the concept of lost and found edges a very important tool for making your paintings more interesting and realistic.